Genesis because I've seen so many people get duped by fake UFOs and I just want to show how easy it is to recreate this shit. And I can warp this image to fit my plane. This is actually going to be the water. problem was that the photograph wasn't perfect so I can make it perfect yeah I just wanna I see so many people that get fooled by this shit and uh, so that's why I'm doing this. I didn't go to school for this stuff. I was actually a welder, so that's pretty far from a computer dude. But I've learned from watching tutorials on YouTube on how to do this stuff. So now you can see I have an island there. And in between this camera and the island I'm gonna make water and a UFO and this is what the 3d model looks like pretty cool if you ask me uh, here's the digital camera uh, I'm still in this mode okay so here's my camera this is what's going to be the water and this is the image, the background image that I'm using. And I'm going to actually, I'll be uh, turning all that into uh, an animation so that you can, just so that people can see how easy it is to make these UFO videos and so people will realize that, hey, wow, this shit's fake. Not to say that UFOs aren't real, but the ones that you see on YouTube certainly aren't. Okay, so I've made this in the water. You can't see it yet. But I'll show you a view through the uh, through the camera, what the camera is seeing. And I'll go ahead and just render a single image. And there it is. That's the water. I'm getting there. It's going to be animated and the water will have ripples and then I'll have the UFO come up out of the water and fly away. It'll be cool. Okay, so what you see here, these are the nodes. These are what's going to animate the water down here. As you can see, I've already put ripples on the water. And if you're wondering why I'm having to use my camera, it's because my computer will crash if I uh, attempt to use my my screen videoing software. So there it is. Now I'm going to be animating the water and making it so the ripples are moving across the water. Okay, so now I'm rendering my spaceship as you can see I've got it. it comes up out of the water kind of flies around in front of the camera and then it takes off <laughs> at super high speed so right now I have my computer attempting to render this I just don't have a very powerful computer so it's having a lot of difficulty <laughs> but as you can see it looks fairly real at this point if I had it uh, well if I had a more powerful computer I could have the settings up a little higher I mean I've only got it at 25% resolution it's still in 1080p and 1920 <clears throat> and it's at 29.97 frames per second even using a border, it's still having a 
hell of a time rendering this. <laughs> but there it is, UFO. And when it's done, you'll see it's still it'll still look pretty cool. So this is for all you people who keep getting duped into buying these freaking UFO videos. It's genuine. They aren't. <laughs> okay, so my first attempt failed. I had uh, some of the settings were wrong, but uh, I got it right this time. And uh, getting ready to render, I gave the UFO some color. It's basically just glass. And I was able to turn my settings up so the resolution is higher. And uh, <coughs> I'll go ahead and play this so you can see what it's going to look like from the outside. It's funny to me because I, I see these videos all the time and to me they're easy to spot when they're fakes but there are so many people out there who just swear up and down that shit's real and they're not they're not real not to say that UFOs aren't real but these aren't most of what you see on YouTube isn't So all I did was I took a picture and I, I aligned it with a plane and put a ripple effect and a glass effect or gloss effect on the plane and then I put that plane in a node editor which uh, put ripples on it to make you know to simulate water and then I made this torus or donut shaped UFO and then I added a second ripple effect that it's making to make it look like it's doing something to the water and then we can look at it through the camera view on the computer I'll let it run through and this is what the final thing will look like except this isn't a rendered version of course this is just the, I guess you'd call it the wire frame, frame or the solid view. Actually, I can put it in wireframe just for fun. It's pretty cool. Here's a solid view. That material view. Pretty easy. And I'd like to remind everybody that I don't <laughs> I don't really know anything about computers. I've watched tutorials on YouTube on how to do this stuff and you know, most of what you see on YouTube is fake. I mean, it is fake. There are the occasional ones that I would, I would think are real, but you know, like you know, nobody really knows for sure. I mean, there are people out there that claim that they do, but <laughs> you know, I knew a dude who claimed he had pictures of Bigfoot. Of course, he would never show them to me, so that made it kind of hard to believe. <clears throat> So that's it. Now I'm going to render this out and uh, put it out there. <laughs> now I've tweaked it a little bit and 
I've got it up to 50% resolution and it's still going pretty damn good. I, I turned the frame rate down to 24 frames per second, but yeah, it's looking good now. Real sharp, real clean. got some cool effects now all I have to do is make up a, a story to go along with it you know, how it came up out of the water and uh, started manipulating water it's like it was drawing power from it or some crap but there it is So now just to make it a little more realistic, I'm going to add a soundtrack. So this should uh, make it all that much more believable. 